2023 just ended and was an intense year. Some great things happened and also some bad things. Right now my country is going through a war and I just got two days off from the military. So I'm making this video right now. So whoever follows my Instagram page you probably saw that I posted some goals that I want to achieve by the end of this year. In some of them I disappointed myself a lot and in some of them I surprised myself a lot. The reason for these goals was to make myself get better on the personal end and also business wise. So I wrote these goals and pinned them on my Instagram page so when I see them all the time in front of my face I'm much more committed to make them come true. So now I'm going to go through all the goals that I made and those that I failed in and by the end of this video I'm going to set up the new goals for 2024. So the first business goal was to make some amount of money that I wanted to make. It didn't go that well because I was struggling a little bit, traveling a lot and also right now I'm in the military so that this time I will make the new amount of money that I'm setting for 2024. And the next goal was to buy all of the gear for my 2023 wish list and I actually bought everything. I spent around $15,000 to buy all of these cameras, microphones, drones, GoPros, everything. So the next goal was to build a new website for my business. In the last few weeks, me and my friends spent a lot of time to make this website look good. And right now it's around 90% finished. And now that by the next month, it's gonna be online. The next goal was to work with clients that appreciate my work. And I actually fired a few clients that I didn't wanna work with. And I'm proud of myself for giving up the money to not work with these people. The next goal was to create a new logo and branding for my business which you can actually see over here. It took a lot of time to make it. The next goal was to start uploading stock footage online. I actually tried to upload one video of a whale to just check it out. And after a few months, somebody bought it and I got $5.6, which is nothing. But if you think about it, when you're gonna have thousand videos online, you could make a lot of money as a passive income, which is pretty nice because you upload a video one time and from now and on, Depending on the video, you can just keep on making money from it without doing anything. Another goal that I've set was to open up to new niches like music videos, which I started making, nature videos that I made, and also vlogs that I made. And the last business goal was to make a steady income from the things I like to do, which I actually made money from the things I like to do, but not enough for me. So hopefully the next year is going to be much better. Going to the fitness goals, I had a few goals that I consider as a fail, which is losing 15 kilos, eating healthy, and exercising four to six times a week. My excuse for that was being lazy, and also military right now is not really helpful for that. So I'm going to take these goals and try to achieve them on the upcoming year. The next goal is to get better in diving, which I actually dived a lot, so I consider it as a success. And getting better in basketball and running, which I consider as a fail because I didn't really work out on that. Same thing, taking it up to the next year and hopefully it will work. Another goal was to hold my breath under the water for two minutes static, which I actually achieved. Two minutes and 10 seconds and one minute dynamic, which I actually got 50 seconds. So I was almost there. The last fitness goal was to touch the basketball rim again, which I know that I'm never gonna make it if I'm not gonna lose enough weight to be able to do that and exercise enough. So for the social goals, and there's a big one in here, the first one was to create and promote a page to benefit the ocean and marine life, which I made. It doesn't have too many followers right now. The page is called We Love the Ocean and hopefully it's gonna have much more impact on the next year. The next goal was to get 500 subscribers on YouTube. Hopefully next year I'm gonna get much more to build a community. The thing that I'm taking from that for the next year is to upload much more videos, much more consistently and with high value content. Another goal was to get 5K views and obviously it was because I didn't work enough on my YouTube channel so same thing for the next year, I'm just gonna upgrade my YouTube channel and hopefully I will be there. The next goal was to get 1K followers on Instagram, on Instagram, in order to get more exposure for my videos so people could see my videos, if it's getting some valuable information, understanding my message or just being inspired from these videos. And I was very close, I have like 950 something followers right now. So hopefully very soon I'm gonna close that gap. And for the next goal, and this is a big one, I wanted to get 20K views on an Instagram video. That's not too much to ask for, right? Usually my highest views on the videos were like 10K, 5K, 7K, and I actually uploaded one video that on the first day had like 5K views, on the second day had like 17K, and I was so excited to finally pass this goal to get this 20K, and then the third day it just had one million views. There was a moment that I spoke to my dad showed him a refresh of the video and then waited eight seconds and it just had like 10K more views in eight seconds. That was crazy. This one video was a banger. And also the footage that I got was really lucky and I worked for it really hard 
and waited for it for a long time, two years to get this footage right and it was worth it. And even though when I have this 1.5 million views, I know that it's not gonna be consistently and I would have to keep working really hard to even get this 20K on daily basis and the hard work is not finished yet and actually never. So from the social goals, we're going to go to the travel goals and these four goals that I wrote are truly big. The first one was to travel in three different countries this year. I was in Italy, in Egypt two times, in South Africa and I was in Jordan. So I actually got four countries, mission completed. The next goal was to swim or dive with a whale in the ocean. I saw whales from the boat many times, but I never got a chance to actually dive or swim with it and actually see under the water. In 2022, I tried it so many times. I went to South Africa and I jumped with so many whales and all of the time the visibility was really bad so I couldn't see the whale or it was diving down and I couldn't see it. I tried it so hard in 2022 and it never worked. And on 2023, I went out and scheduled two weeks and not one week in South Africa. And I actually managed to do much more than I thought. I went out and jumped with the whale. And this was a female whale. Usually they dive down when they see humans. They don't want to interact. Until now, this is by far the greatest moment of my life. And I even cried about it a few times. And with the whale, I actually started filming from the moment that I saw it from the boat. I had a feeling that this is my big moment. I jumped in the water and after two minutes of swimming, I actually saw it from like seven or five meters close, the whale got close to me. She looked me in the eye, touched me with her fin and went away. And after one minute, she came back and this time she pushed me with her tail. Oh my gosh! That was so hit me! The running in my body was so high that it didn't even hurt me. She went away again and she came back for less goodbye. Me and my body waved goodbye to this whale and she actually swam on the back and kind of waved back to us. And this feeling was so amazing because I just interacted with like a 10 meter, few tons, wild animal in the ocean that could do so many things and not approaching me. And this animal actually chose to give me these five minutes. And these five minutes were the most amazing five minutes of my life. That's the best day of my life. The next door after that was to find a bait ball in the sardine run. Again, I went on the sardine run in 2022 and I couldn't see a bait ball under the water. A bait ball is when dolphins find a school of sardines just starting to surround them, making them a ball and then pushing them up to the surface of the water. Then they start feeding from this frenzy. Sometimes sharks join them and all of the times the birds are diving with them. The same bird that you saw on this Instagram reel that I just showed with the 1.5 million views. And this year I actually achieved and saw so many bait balls unlike the year before that I didn't even see one. So this is a big success for me and getting all of these footages to my portfolio was just an amazing thing and I can never know if I will see it again. The goal after that was to see a wild rhino and I'm gonna say it again, a wild rhino, not in the zoo, a rhino that is free and can do whatever you want. So in South Africa, I went to a national park that is called Kruger Park. I did the same thing the year before and it didn't work. So this year, everything worked out so well. I saw the rhino from so far. I got it on my camera, but I hope the next time I could see it from much closer. These are the travel goals and going to the personal goals. I was not so successful. I wanted to make a film about my dog Jack that I didn't make. I wanted to make a film about my grandparents which I still didn't do. The goal after that was to meet the deadlines that I set for myself and I feel like I could do better with times. I didn't handle my schedules good enough this year. So taking that to the next year and hopefully I will do it better. Next one after that was the experience working remote from different countries. I did work a few hours every day, but I feel like I can always do it better. So I'll take it as a success, but I can do it better. And the next goal after that was to avoid distractions. I feel like I can reduce so much time being on my phone, just scrolling through apps. And that's another thing that I know that I could do better. I have to get these distractions away from me so I could be more productive and more efficient with my work. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you about the goals that I set for 2024. You're probably gonna hear the difference on the mic now. I plugged it into the headphones input instead of the mic input. So now I fixed it. Okay, so let's just run it. I wanna make a new amount of money from my business for 2024. I wanna buy all of the gear of my 2024 wish list. I want to finish building my business's website. I want to start working with other freelancers so I can teach them how I'm working and then earn more money for my business, get more clients and basically just grow up. I want to upload at least 500 stock footages online. 
I want to open up to new niches like documentary and I want to go further with the music videos. I want to earn a steady income on the things I like to do. Now let's go for the fitness goals. Lose 15 kilos, eat healthy, exercise four to six times a week, get better at running, basketball and scuba diving again. Be able to stay under the water, this time for three minutes static and one minute and a half dynamic. I want to be able to touch the basketball rim again. Going to the social goals. I want to get this We Love the Ocean page to benefit the ocean and marine life bigger to impact more people to save the ocean and the marine life. I want to get 1k subs on YouTube. I want to get 10k views on a YouTube video. I want to get 2k followers on Instagram. I want to get 20k views on the Instagram reels on daily basis. I want to get back and start uploading more consistently on YouTube and Instagram. And the last social goal, I want to break the record of 1.5 million views on an Instagram reel. For the traveling goals, I want to visit a country that I've never been in. I want to visit three different countries this year. I want to go for another trip that is including looking for animals, if it's national parks, if it's in the ocean, anything that I can find animals at and maybe get to see an animal that I've never seen before. I want to go for a free diving course and I want to do some more scuba diving courses to get close to being a scuba diving dive master. For the personal goals, I want to make a film about my dog, which is funny, he just knocked on my door. That's my dog, by the way, Jack. I want to make a film about my grandparents. I want to make a documentary film. I want to meet the deadlines that I set for myself. And the last thing, I want to avoid distractions. All of this app scrolling and stuff, anything that can get my attention away from what I actually need to do. Basically, just to try to get away of anything that makes me unproductive. Of course, I'm sure it's not going to be 100%, but I'm trying to get as close to it as I can and still stay human. So that's it for now. I got to go put back my uniforms and run into base. See you on the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.